Okay, Doug, um, I'm going to show you how to release your IT bands. Basically, <coughs> the areas we've got to get at with you are all down the side here. And through here, TFL is, um, starts just below the ASIS, which is this bone here at the front. Runs down here. Anterior glute medius comes from below here and runs this way to the greater trochanter, which is the bigger bone on the side there. Um, and both of these things, in your case, are really tight, and that's why that leg keeps flipping around like this. It's coming from up here. There's going to be some other things going on too, but this, this is a major area we've got to release. So we're going to desensitize this. So you get a foam roller. doesn't matter this is a four-inch one. doesn't matter how long it is because you just need something enough to roll up and down the sides here. Um, and you could get the six-inch one if you can't get a four-inch one, but make sure it's pretty firm. This is a nice hard one. The, the soft, squidgy ones that the kids play with in swimming pools aren't hard enough to do what you need. So start at the knee. Dump all your weight <coughs> like so. Use this leg, this leg here to regulate how much force, and then slowly roll along. It's going to be uncomfortable, so just go nice and slowly. Don't go any faster than what I'm showing you, and keep repositioning your arms and your uh, supporting leg as you go and you want to go right up right all the way up until you're over that greater trochanter that nice big bone on the outside at the very least you've got to go that far okay and then start coming back down nice and slowly it's going to take at least 15 20 seconds to go in each direction, maybe as long as 30 seconds, and go all the way until you're on the outside of the knee, right the way down, and now rotate that way a bit, so the next line, instead of being here, the next line is here, it's parallel with the first line, but a little more anterior, okay, so now I'm going to roll that way a little bit, then do another one, nice and slow, go even slower through the especially tender spots, and I guarantee you there'll be plenty of those. And again, continue until you're all the way up over the greater trochanter. In fact, on this one, you can go all the way to the anterior superior iliac spine, which is the smaller bone at the front of the pelvis. And then retreat, following exactly the same line as the one you just made. Nice and slowly, keep all your weight on there. So you go all the way to the knee, okay? Now rotate a little further around. So we've done one line here, one line here, and we're going to do a third line here. So they're all parallel with each other. So now I'm going to rotate, so I'm almost on my front. I'm not quite on my front, but I'm definitely way more anterior than the last line. And I repeat the same process all the way up, nice and slowly especially slow on the tender spots. You can even hold completely still for a few seconds on the really um, painful spots. All the way till you get to the anterior superior iliac spine. Right around there. And then again, retrace your steps. And uh, don't use any lubricant when you do this, no, no kind of massage cream, just do it dry and go slowly, 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 like right there, it's tender as hell. So I've got to go real slow through there and then keep going until I end up back where I started from, right down at the knee, okay, right around there. Right, so that's the right leg. Then you turn over and repeat that whole process on the left leg, okay. I won't bother videoing that. And if you need to, you can walk around for a few seconds, shake your legs off, and then uh, do the right leg again. Whole process, three stripes up and down. So, so start here, go up, go down, roll round, go up, then down, roll round, go up, then down. Then you do the left leg again, then you do the right leg again, then the left leg again. So the whole process gets done. Right leg, left leg, right leg, left leg, right leg, left leg. I know the problem is on the right leg, but you've got to treat both sides. Trust me. It's, it's by far the best way to do it. Okay, so that's step one. So now step two, you're going to put all your weight on your left leg, so you're standing. 
There's really very little weight on here at all. The muscles are nice and loose. 95% or more of your weight is on the left leg. This, this leg is loose because you want all these muscles relaxed. You don't want this. You want this loose. And then you start, you're going to run with two thumbs. You're going to run strips down, parallel lines. So you're going to run a line here, 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 and here. Basically, if you put your hand on the corner there where a pocket would be, that's where you're going to treat. And you're always starting from this bone here, the anterior superior iliac spine. So um, I usually start in the middle rather than at one extreme, but I'm going to treat in between where my hands are now. So I'll start in the middle and then I'll deviate from there. So both thumbs together. So make sure your thumbs are like this, like not like that and not like that, but like that. So you can make like a, a plowing effect and don't leave a gap because if you leave a gap, there's going to be a section of the tissue that's untreated in the middle and that's no good. Okay. So I go here again, it's dry, no lube at all. And it's real slow. I, I'm moving about a millimeter every one to two seconds. It's very slow. This is like a rolfing technique to heat up the fascia and get it to creep. Okay, so I started right under the bone of the ASIS and I'm going to creep down here. And this is going to take you to go even just three or four inches, which is probably all you'll handle to start with. It's going to take you at least 30 seconds to do. So I've only gone about an inch and a half. And ultimately, you're going to need to do at least four inches, maybe as much as six inches, but you can build up to that gradually. This will be tender as hell the first few times you do it. Once you've done it two or three times, you'll be able to make the strokes longer. And the tissue will allow you to move quicker. So there's a lot of friction between my thumbs and my, the skin on the outside of my leg. You'll feel a lot of heat, a lot of burning. It'll feel like skin pain, but that's the subcutaneous fascia heating up. Okay, so that's pretty good for a first pass. You can see how it's getting pretty red there, and if you put your hand on it now, it'll be really hot. Right, now with this technique, you don't do multiple lines before you switch to the other leg. You do one line, and then you switch. So now I go here, all my weight's on my right leg. There's my ASIS. There's my pocket. I'm going to go right in the middle, start just under the bone, and off I go. And you're going to feel dramatically different on the two sides. Mine feels different. The right side's a deeper discomfort, not so much skin pain, whereas the left side, there's more superficial discomfort, more skin burning. And yours will have even more dramatic differences between the two sides than that. So I'm going nice and slow. You can see I'm barely moving. And the slower you go, the better. And it, if you can't relax, it means you're pressing too hard. So just slow down, don't press quite so hard, and stay relaxed. But it will burn, it is going to be uncomfortable. So I'm slowly making my way down, getting that skin burn and that heat as I go. Go another half inch or so. Okay, so this side now is a lot easier at the bottom. But I went from here to here. You can see how it gets pink pretty easily. Sometimes you'll get a little white line in the very center because even when your thumbs are together, there's still a little patch right in the center where you you don't have as much pressure. And you can see a, there's a little white line right there where I didn't quite get it. Okay, so then I come back here and now I move half an inch this way and run a line just in front of that one. So I'm going to do the same thing um, from here basically to here but obviously a lot slower than that. Then I'd come here, run a line here, my previous one was here. I'd start here, go to there, very, very slowly. And then come back, and now I come this way of my original line, and go from there, all the way from the bone here to there. And then I switch, and start here, and go all the way from there to there. And then if you do this every two days, which is what you need to do, eventually you'll be able to put the lines to here, and you'll be able to move faster, but once you're done, this whole area, all through here where my hand is, should be pink. You can see how pink it is just from doing one line on each side. Okay? So that's what you've got to do. The slower you go, the better. 